In this code clip, we are going to learn how to add columns to a data frame in R. First, we're just going to load in the empty cars data set. And then to add a column, you just need to pass the name of the column you want to add into the index for the data frame. So here's the data frame. We're passing in a new column name. We're going to call it HP per cylinder. And then you pass in whatever information you want to store in that column. In this case, we're going to be calculating something from the data frame, so we're dividing horsepower by cylinders to calculate this horsepower per cylinder. That's going to be the new column. If we run that, we see the new column has been added with those calculated values. Now you can also add columns using the dollar notation instead of a quoted string. So here we're adding a new column called new one using dollar notation. And in this case, we're just passing in a single value zero. When you do that, a, a column will be created filled by that value all the way down. So we can see there's a new column and it's just filled with zeros instead of actual meaningful values. And you can add multiple columns at the same time if you're using the quote notation. So here we're passing in a vector with two different column names, new two and new three. And we're passing in a vector with two different um, columns values we want to fill. In this case, we're just duplicating the cylinder and weight columns for this example. So we can see that new two and new three, these new columns are both re replicas of the cylinder and um, weight columns that we passed in. That's three different ways of adding columns in R. All the code used in this video is available in the description below. If you found this video useful, drop a like, and if you're interested in more data science content, hit subscribe.